Yeah, and you got a story about a player's interesting path from Canada back to his hometown of New Orleans. Interesting name to watch in Saints camp, Delvin Bro, cornerback. He was getting reps as the first team nickel corner during minicamp. He's a hometown guy, grew up in New Orleans and was going to play at LSU, but he broke his neck uh, in a game in his senior year of high school and played no college football, played a year in the Arena League, two in the CFL before the Saints signed him in January, brought him in as a backup, uh, one of their outside spots, but he played well enough in the spring that he might be the nickel corner to start the season. He's going to make the team. Yeah, we think so. I think you will. Yep. Very, very cool Keep story. What about uh, Dublin Bro? What do you guys like about him? It's kind of an interesting story. You know, a lot of you guys um, won't be familiar with it, but uh, we signed a corner from the CFL this offseason. Uh, and it's, of course, he's from New Orleans, so it's spelled, what, B-R-E-A-U-X? Right. Uh, um, but he was a high school player, recruited heavily, signed a scholarship with LSU, um, and then sustained an injury his senior year. He actually fractured his, uh, his neck, um, went through an extensive rehab, wasn't able to pass a physical three years at LSU, and then eventually still can't get an opportunity to play. Finally, he's cleared, and he plays in a semi-pro league. Just kind of an unusual journey as to how he got where he's at now, and, and I like him. Reset in Vereen from his left to his right, and he's going to throw to Vereen in the right flat. He's got some room beyond the 30, and there's Delvin Pro coming up to make contact. For the Cardinals from there at 49. Ellington left side, spins away from a tackle, maintains his footing, oh, oh. and now loses the football. The Saints have covered it. Looked like Delvin Bro, but the Saints come away with the football as they collect the first turnover of this game. Yeah, Ellington hadn't been able to secure the football as he spun away and kept one hand on the ground and didn't quite have it fully in his grasp when he was hit. The ball comes free, and it is Chip Bro with the recovery. Here's Carson Palmer retreating, throwing near sideline. It's broken up nicely by Bro, who put that big right hand up there and swatted the football away from John Brown. Looking to his right and throwing, incomplete. Delvin Bro really jumped the route on Julio Jones. Almost came up with the interception. Screaming stands to the left of Ryan. Ryan looks to his left and throws the quick slam incomplete to Julio Jones, and that's Delvin Bro on some very tight cover. Motion resets to the left side. Here's Luck throwing. And it's going to be broken up nicely by Delvin Bro, as he gets usually the best receiver on the other team, and that would be T.Y. Hilton. Nicely broken up by Bro, who's getting more and more attention around the NFL. Snap is to lock. Andrew has time again. Has time. He 
He's going to wheel one down the sideline, and it is knocked down by T.Y. Hill. Otherwise, it would have been intercepted. Yeah. And again, takes the snap, sets up and looks. Looks. He's going to throw in the end zone. T.Y. had it taken away from him. Delvin Bro. Was reacting to the ball by Delvin Bro. It looked like it's a touchdown to T.Y. Hill. He's going to run a little post route, a skinny post. And it looked like he had his hands on the ball. Bro comes out of nowhere, puts his left hand on the arms of T.Y. Hill and just breaks him down and able to force that incompletion. Second and six from the same 48. High snap out of the shotgun and a low throw at the 40-yard line is going to be incomplete. Ellington is the running back. Play action to him. Palmer chased from the pocket and throws it out to the right side. the Cowboys into a third and 19 from the Dallas 37. Very cautiously, they'll keep it on the ground with Dunbar, and Dunbar taken down by Bro. Short to Ryan Matthews, and he's upended nicely by Delvin Rowe. First and ten from the 20 yard line of Atlanta. Ryan in the shotgun going to air it out for Julio Jones down the left side and it's incomplete some contact down there with Delvin Bro but he was running step for step with Julio Jones incomplete. Mariota calls for the football he's going to throw to the far sideline broken up and incomplete it was Delvin Bro who came up and uh, inhibited McCluster from catching that football and it's going to be a three and out for the Titans. Well uh, once again Delvin Bro continuing with I mean playing good the thing about Delvin this year is that the mistakes that he's made have definitely been magnified but you see him do what he just did right there a lot this season. Mariota looking, throwing deep downfield, going for DTB. Ball is tipped and incomplete. Bro on the coverage on first and ten. Bradford rolls to his right. And uh, they throw a middle screen to Murray, who takes it to the far side of the field, and Bro pushes him out of bounds. Standing in a shotgun sack. Eli takes the snap, he's back to throw. Steps up, lobs one into the end zone, incomplete intended for Odell Beckham Jr.
under center. Play fake rolls right. Looks down the field. Now fires it. And that's going to be picked off. That ball is picked off by Delvin Bro, who stepped in front of Alan Hearns and picks it off at the 46-yard line of Jacksonville.